pretty good so far. Today's a great day for a ride. Hey everyone, so two things today. If you watch my last vlog, you would have seen this. Had some fun in the mud pit though. Although I kind of told myself I wouldn't be doing this kind of stuff anymore. And as you see from today, that was a lie. Um, and then two, I'm going to be going back to Majeska Canyon today to go for a ride. And I'll show you where I'm going right now. The spring is finally here. And you can see the flower bloom is finally starting. You can really see it over there on that road. But for today, I'm going to Majeska, which is that road right there. Probably the steepest fire road climb in this entire mountain range. So that is today's goal. Harding Truck Trail. Oh, once again, we got a turkey traffic jam as usual back here. Pretty normal. Alright, so here we are. This is where we left off last in the previous video. So my goal is I'm going all the way up this road. I'll probably get up to what's called Laurel Springs. That's a good stopping point. But this road is about three to four miles of continuous, never-ending, very steep uphill climb. So that's what I built this bike for, and we'll keep on going. A party truck trail. I don't know how much talking I'll be doing going up here, because this is very tiring, and I don't want to be having a 20 minute vlog of me just breathing heavily. But I thought I was gonna lose this area, because that ridge line right over there is where the latest um, fire stopped at. Right when the fire was like put out, you could still see all the fire retardant on the ridge line. So that stuff works, but for now, let's keep going. If you ever find yourself in the area and you want to take a break, we got picnic tables right here too. But for now, that's where I started. That's the luge, still the luge. And then that is a trail to old camp. And then there's my trail. And then another old mine right there, I think.
All right, so I'm a little more than halfway to where I'll be stopping for the day. And look at that view. We got Mission Viejo, Lake Forest, Fashion Island for the tall buildings, and then San Clemente Island over there. Let's keep going. All right, we are uh, at Laurel Spring. Hope you guys like my outfit today. I, uh, I actually cannot survive outside without sunglasses. So I have to wear these pretty much at all times. Um, so yeah, I'm at Laurel Springs right now up on Harding Truck Trail. And I'm currently standing on top of a well. This is kind of speculation at this point, but from what I believe, this is a natural spring here, hence the name Laurel Springs. So there's a pipe right there coming out of the ground and then if you look over in here this is full of water let me see if i can get my gopro in there that thing is really heavy but my speculation is that this is fairly recent, I'm going to assume, from the look of these pipe fittings, either that or they updated it. But I think this is for firefighting. So if they have fire trucks up here fighting wildland fires, they can open this up and refill their trucks with this. Although I don't really know the physics behind how the water gets up here because there's no pump that I can see. and. That's it. Someone actually tried, someone tried digging underneath this. There's a hole right here and they gave up probably about two feet down. Why you would want to get underneath there, I have no clue. But yeah, for now, I've just been kind of hanging out here. I'm kind of low on water, so I'm going to be packing up soon and heading back down because I really want some food. But Today shouldn't be as difficult because with my other videos, I'm looking like an idiot having to run around grabbing my cameras, but I got a chest mount today and I'm probably just going to descend down the mountain with the chest mount. All right, and we have an issue already. I forgot the GoPro mount. I spent like an hour packing all this stuff, like even though it shouldn't take me an hour, it should take me 20 minutes. I still forgot the plastic GoPro mount, so I can't use this. <laughs> I can't use this or the chest mount, so I'm going to have to figure something out because I want my descent footage. Oh, and I hear someone coming down right now too. Oh yeah. Hi and bye. Nice seeing you. Have a good ride. Yeah, actually, so I'm currently, I was totally off with my guesstimate. I am currently at, what is that? 5.68 miles, roughly two hours minus, you know, filming. And I'm at 2,200 feet of climbing, right at 423, so. Yeah, I was way off with uh, my guesstimate for this trail. Um, but I do know it goes for at least another four miles. And then it reaches four corners, which is where I've been doing all my like drone photography at. So, time to say goodbye to this view and head on down.
last climbs are always the worst. So I ended up jerry-rigging my camera to fit. Since I forgot the mount for it, I'm just using the handheld mount and putting it like in the chest mount, like using the uh, elastic. So that's why the camera is kind of all over the place. Hopefully next time I'll remember to bring it. But for now, this is the best I can do. Oh. All right. All right. That has been Harding Truck Trail, at least until Laurel Springs. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. If you guys uh, want to take a look, I have another video doing the full breakdown on this build. The Drop Bar Hartel Frankenbike, as I call it. I built this bike exactly for these kind of fire road conditions, and so far it has not let me down. That suspension is doing way too much work. But anyway, now I'm gonna head back down to my car, get way too much food that pretty much cancels out the entire ride that I just did. Although I spent most of it sadly filming. Three and a half hours. I usually do this in about an hour and a half. So I really need to streamline my workflow when it comes to filming out here, but I'm new at it. Well, anyway, thanks for joining me. I will see you guys in the next video. And for now, I'll catch you later.